Kia ora guys, welcome back to another video. I've got a bit of footage um, over the past few weekends that me, my brother and a few of our mates have been out um, diving some pretty clear water over in Coromandel and Mere Island. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy. We started off our weekend trip with some pretty bumpy water. The weather was supposed to be mint, but um, there was just heaps of morning sickness on the water. But yeah, we headed out to Mare in our new boat and yeah, handled real well. We were stoked when we got up there. Perfectly clear water and just, yeah, awesome. We started off our morning in Southeast Bay um, where we were staying the night. Um, we set up our little camp spot and then grabbed the boat and then we headed out for a fish. We just get to wait here. <laughs> He's full. Yeah. Come on, baby. Nice little snapper. Some smaller, I think. Oh, yeah. Not too small. Right. Yeah, always good to throw about the first fish anyway, isn't it? Cheers, brother. Yeah. Yeah. Watch your foot, bro. Phew. Oh, it came off. <laughs> oh, ratchet. What do you think I'm going to need the next for this one? Might need to turn your drag up a bit, bro. Nice snapper, was it? Just like that. Oh, yeah, nice yeah. snapper, bro. Nice one. Nice snapper. Yeah, boy. Oh. Ah. Nice. Nice, boys. Yeah, good size. Oh, this is yeah. a good size. Nice 50 centimeter snapper, I reckon. Oh, here, yeah, fucking, I've got a blooming bit of a bird's nest going on. Good one. <laughs> nice. Oh, he's trying to stop fighting. Still looks good. Yeah, it should, it's a good fish. Yeah, my filming skills aren't very good. Do you want the net? No, we're good. Nice little penny. Nice. Good oh. All right. Yeah, easy. After a few nice fish in the bin, we decided to um, find a nice sheltered spot off in the water and yeah, we were greeted with um, amazing viz, probably 20 metres plus, very fishy, so yeah, we were, it was awesome.
The structure over there was awesome. There was heaps of big gutterings and crevices, um, perfect for you know big snapper to be holding. So um, cracked up a few kinner and yeah, hope to bring in some snapper. While the burly was brewing up, I decided to have a play around on the weedy edge, hoping to find I don't know John Dory or something like that. Um, ended up finding a nice goat fish underneath the ledge that I ended up missing. My brother found a nice sized pack horse um, that yeah he managed to grab so that was pretty cool. Man, it was so funny when I was grabbing the flight boat, um, Chikai dropped the, dropped the crowfish. <laughs> I had to chase after it, I just got an old film, just as I was bringing it back over. <laughs> Chuck her in. Oh, you got a four Yeah. Oh. It's a little good though. Yep. When Chikai got that crayfish, we decided to hop on the boat and move to a different spot, and the water just absolutely glassed off. It was awesome. But yeah, we hopped back into the water, birdied up a few more times, and got some nice snapper. Um, my GoPro ran out of charge, but I got some nice photos of them. The next morning we hopped on the water pretty early because we only had a few hours to get back um, home in time with the, with good weather and yeah when we got back we filleted up the fish and headed up to the Coromandel and yeah went out the next morning. I was super hyped to get into the water at this spot because there were so many fish around and I typically forgot my weight belt so I had to get the girls to chuck it overboard for me. With the weight belt on I was straight back into it, straight out to that same loop that I was just on. I noticed a fat kohidu bolt straight past me, and I knew there would be a predator not too far behind. Chikoa! Chikoa! 
I just shot a John Dory. I need your knife, bro. John Dory, yeah, John Dory. Oh, I need your knife, brother. I'll lift one on the bike. Plenty of bait fish around and school of car wise coming through. I knew the kingies went too far behind. I hurt the fish pretty bad, so it wasn't too long until I hit the kingy into my arms. He wasn't a big fish by any means, but he was still a good 80 centimetres. We had a few more drops at the same spot, um, but the current had stopped pushing, so we decided to call it quits. Thank you guys so much for watching, hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah, like and subscribe.